Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, welcome to Anything and Everything with Anita. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about castor oil and whether or not it helps with hair growth and hair thickening. So without further ado, let's get started. guys know castor oil is a very thick oil and I didn't just use it on its own I tried it once and I felt like the oil was really thick and it didn't spread well uh, all around my scalp so I decided to use a carrier oil which was jojoba oil which is also very good for your skin and your hair just to carry it a little bit and allow it to spread a little bit more on my scalp. So just before we go into the application and the mixture that I make in order to use this on my hair, I just wanna let you guys know what castor oil is. So this is the main ingredient that I use in my mixture to put on my hair. It's um, a vegetable oil that's made from compressed castor seeds. Um, and just to let you guys know, this is the one I bought. You guys are gonna see it after, but this I bought on Amazon. And I'm gonna read you exactly what's written off the bottle because I can't say it better myself. So castor oil is perfect for all skin types, including sensitive skin. Uh, it is rich in vitamins A and E, antioxidants, and essential fatty acids would help, which help improve the appearance of skin and give it a youthful glow. So yes, it's great for skin, but here's where the hair comes in. So it improves blood circulation to the skin, which can help stimulate hair health and growth. Okay, and it can also be used to remedy fungal infections on the skin. So this is what's great about castor oil. I've been reading so many reviews online and I honestly have been trying to grow out my hair for the longest time. About four years ago, I cut it really short and I've been dying to have it grow long. I am tired of putting extensions in. I am tired of just trying so many different things to get my hair to look longer. I wanted to try it in a really natural way, so that's why I wanted to try with the castor oil. So let's go ahead and look at the mixture I make and how I apply it. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you're gonna need is organic castor oil. The second thing you're gonna need is jojoba oil. And the last and final thing you're gonna need is any essential oils of your liking. I usually pick rosemary mint because I like the smell. Alrighty guys, now on to the mixture. I usually use a little amber bottle to put everything together. So that's what you guys see here. Generally, I'm gonna start off with putting the castor oil in because it is the thickest. As you guys could see, I had some leftover from my last little mixture that I made. So first things first, we're gonna put in half castor oil into this little amber bottle. The second thing we're gonna put in is the jojoba oil and I just put in another half in the bottle of jojoba oil. So generally my mixture is half jojoba oil and half castor oil. Lastly, I'm gonna put in about 10 drops of the essential oil of my choice. I honestly love rosemary mint. I find it smells so good, but you guys could use lavender if you want or grapefruit, whatever works for you. But I find about 10 drops usually helps to get the castor oil smell out of the mixture. Mix, 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 and then we're ready to go. Alrighty, now onto the application process. So as you guys could see, I usually brush out all my hair, starting from the bottom and working my way to the top. Generally, I do this right before getting into the shower. I'll start my day with putting the castor oil on and I'll have it on throughout the entire day. So I have my little amber bottle here. I'm gonna mix it before. And I make sure to always have a comb with me because once you put in all of that oil on your hair, you wanna use a comb to just brush it out and make sure it spreads well. So what I do is I start at the top of my head and I put it at my roots. 
and then I start working it in with my fingers. So I try to massage as I go, just adding it in, massaging it out, making sure it's spreading everywhere all over my scalp. As you guys could see, I make sure to get it all at the top and all in the areas where I really want my hair to start, you know, growing or feeling thicker. I get it all around the base of my head, near my ears, and I keep massaging as I go. Obviously this is sped up, but I do really take my time to massage my head, make sure the oil is really massaged and well. And now I'm gonna go to the back spot of my head. That's that little trouble area I tend to have. So I wanna put a lot more oil in that area. And another thing that I read online is that it's really great to apply the oil upside down so that some of the blood rushes to your head and that will really promote hair growth. I make sure to add some in my hands just so I can spread it all over. And then I take the residual oil off of my hands and I put it on my ends because it's always great for your hair, your ends and everything. Then I'll take the comb and I'll just slowly brush everything in, making sure that it's spread around everywhere. And obviously combing out your hair makes it a lot easier to tie up in a ponytail and get it out of the way for the rest of the day. I'll tie it up into a little bun and then I'm good. I also add a little bit of castor oil to my eyebrows and my eyelashes. As you guys could see, I put a little bit on each and then I put it on my eyelashes. I'm always sure to not get it in my eyes because it is very thick. I was actually trying to grow out my eyebrows during this quarantine time so that I could do a nice new shape on them when plucking. And now we're on to shower time. So at this point, I've already had the castor oil on for a couple hours. Generally, I make sure to have it on for a minimum of 30 minutes. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go in with shampoo. I use a pretty dense shampoo, so I feel like one shampoo is enough. But some people, depending on their hair type, will have to shampoo twice. But generally, I go in once and I make sure to scrub everywhere and get all of that oil out. Next, I'll go in with a scalp scrubber. I tend to do this once a month. It's really good with cleaning out all the leftover oils and anything you might have, like dry shampoo or residual stuff on your scalp. So I go in with that. And then finally, I'm gonna go in with a really deep conditioner. I'm gonna put it at my ends and at my scalp and I'm gonna work it in really well and I'm gonna leave it in there for about five minutes. So I just got out of the shower and my hair is currently wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put my makeup on, let it dry naturally, brush it out, and then I will come back and show you guys what it looks like dry. But as you could see, it looks pretty clean. Okay, be back in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm back. I finished brushing out my hair and styling it. I wanted to just film a quick little video to show you guys what it looks like at the roots after it's styled. So definitely not oily at all uh, after washing it out. And it feels great. It feels really, really soft and thick. So this is day one, and I'm gonna come back tomorrow to show you guys what my hair looks like day two, uh, whether it's oily or not, and we'll go from there. Oh, look who's here. Hi. Hi, little man. Hi, little man. Say bye, guys, see you tomorrow. Bye, see you tomorrow. <laughs> hey guys just wanted to give you a little update on day two after applying the castor oil 
As you guys can see on my scalp, there's very little oil, so my hair still looks clean, it still feels clean, and it's super, super soft. So even though the castor oil is a very thick type of oil with the mixture that I made, we were able to apply it, remove it very well with the shampoo, and here you have it. Alrighty guys, nice to see you again. So let's talk about the verdict. We are 30 days plus in of applying the mixture that I just showed you onto my hair and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think. So to start, my hair did not drastically grow, okay? So it's about, you know, it, it grew. It's not extremely long. That's the first thing I want to disclose. Now I only use the castor oil for 30 or so days. So it's nothing crazy. Generally your hair is supposed to grow half an inch every month. Okay. So as you guys could see, let me just show you my hair. So at the beginning of, and I want to say this well, at the beginning of March, my blonde was at my scalp. Okay, so if you guys could see my roots, my blonde here was actually at my roots at the beginning of March. I started using the castor oil at the beginning of April for the entire month of April. Okay, so if you're looking at my scalp here, think my hair already grew half an inch from the month of March and then look past that, that would be all of April. Now, I would say it has helped my hair grow faster. My hair is not like crazy long. Obviously you would have to use this over an extended period of time for a while um, to get it to grow longer and longer and faster and faster. I would say it did help my hair grow faster um, given that I'm taking a look at my roots and I'm taking a look at where the blonde reached. So if you look at the month of March and you consider the month of April, that would be one full inch. I honestly can say if I'm looking at my roots and where the blonde is reached, it's about, you know, like, let me go right to the center of my scalp here. Okay. Okay. So I'm looking at the camera here. I'm not looking right at like, I'm looking at the screen just so I could see that you guys could see. So if you could see like it's an inch and a bit, right? So it did help grow the hair. It did. Um, what I do want to say, which was for me, the biggest change in my hair, uh, was how thick it felt. I felt like every time I would put the castor oil mixture on my hair, it would always feel so much thicker afterwards and it would feel so healthy. Okay. At my ends, at my scalp. And the reason for this is castor oil locks in moisture at your strands and it makes your hair feel fuller. Okay. It's not a trick. It actually helps moisturize your hair and it makes it feel fuller and thicker. So if there's any takeaway from this, castor oil or the mixture that I made with the castor oil helps thicken your hair. It helps your hair feel thicker. I have an issue at the back of my head, which is here, like in this area. I, because of the way my hair grows out, it like goes, it turns. And I always end up looking like I have less hair in this area and I could feel for it. Like I always need to make sure that my hair is kind of like covered in a way where you don't really see it thinning in the back. And I feel like the castor oil has really helped with getting that area a little bit thicker or the hair feel a little bit thicker and kind of covering it up a little bit more, which is really, really helpful. Um, apart from that, I honestly love having the castor oil in my hair. I feel like when I would have it, it was just rejuvenating my hair. And what castor oil does, it's, it's antimicrobial. So what it does is when you put it on your scalp, it will create an environment in which allows your hair to want to grow faster, quicker, because it's, it's allowing your scalp to be clean and like I said, it's antimicrobial, antifungal. So, and it also helps the blood, just the stimulation of blood at your scalp. Cause if you're putting it in, you're rubbing it in, it's going to help that. So that's going to help. That's going to create an environment that's going to help your hair grow. 
Um, I think that's how it works. Honestly, I did notice a change. I did notice a difference. So I do recommend castor oil for hair thickening and to help promote an environment to help with hair growth. So it indirectly helps with hair growth. It doesn't actually make your hair grow. I feel that's a common misconception when it comes to castor oil. In my opinion, that's how it works. Um, and I think that's all I really wanted to say. Honestly, I think it works. I think over six months, you'd see a much more drastic change. So I'm gonna keep using it and I might do, if you guys are interested, an updated video six months later using the castor oil mixture I was using. But honest to God, I got this on Amazon. It was not that expensive. It's pretty big and I mean, I've already used it for a month and it's down to here. So it's gonna last, it really is gonna last. Um, just a quick mention about jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is an oil that doesn't really smell very much um, and is very thin. Uh, this is really good for your skin, by the way. If ever you come out of the shower, your pores are really open, the best oil to put, in my opinion, is jojoba oil. You just put a little bit on your hand and you rub it all over your face and it's perfect. Um, but like I said, I use this as a carrier oil for the castor oil mixture and I put in a few drops of essential oil, like I already mentioned, to help with the smell because castor oil smells nasty. Um, so honestly, I'm going to keep going forward with that mixture and I will, if you guys are interested, give you an updated video in six months. So yeah, very much recommended. Alrighty guys, that's the end of my video. I really do hope that you liked my video. If you did and you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And if you guys have any questions or comments, don't be shy, drop them down in the comment section below. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye.